Yo, what's up guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for another episode of Road to Top 10 in the UU tier. We are nearing, uh, we're on the final stretch. We're nearing the finish line. I'm using an offensive team. Shoutouts to my boy FLCL. Thank you, or Fully Cully, whatever you want to call him. Uh, thank you everybody for the you know support. Really do appreciate it. The comments, the likes. I'm feeling 100% better. And uh, yeah, let's look for a battle. It's a bit late at night. I actually uh, recently played this will load hello I don't know what I'm talking about I actually recently played the uh, number two guy Pretty good game and uh, yeah so I'm right about here I gotta get right about here it's about 30 34 points 34 points exactly and because my name starts with a P it starts with a Z hopefully alphabetical order takes its place and uh, you know <laughs> I get there but let me pause until we find a battle and we'll be right back Okay, so we have found a battle. Uh, this guy looks to have Sticky Web with a bunch of fast Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm just going to lead off with uh, Needle Queen. I, uh, I get a spin off versus. Nothing. <laughs> oh, crap. I might just lead off with Starmie because I literally get a spin versus nothing on his team. This can knock me out with Draco, Outrage, Knockoff, Sucker Punch, Crunch. Well, I guess on Lucario, but yeah, I'm leading off with Starmie because. I do not want him to get up those uh, that web as I get a nice crit as he goes right for thunder. Completely fine with that, and I can go right onto my bomb snow. And uh, I'm actually gonna go for earthquake, expecting him to want. I don't know how experienced he is. Oh whatever, <laughs> I could have just stayed regular. I had soundproof. Um, okay, that's good though. No sticky web, and I still do have my priority ice shard to deal with Noivern as well as a Haxorus, and I'm not sure how experienced this guy is, so he doesn't know I have Ice Shard yet. Ends up going out to Crocodile, uh, I do not want to take a knockoff, I'm not sure if he'll go for Superpower, but I'm expecting knockoff, so I'm going to go out to my Harp, uh, Scarf, Hydreigon, sorry, couldn't have any words, couldn't catch any words, as he's actually a Life Orb variant, um, not really too worried about that, simply because I can just Draco right here, get a kill, if he goes out into Lucario, that's fine, I have Max Speed Rachi, and after the Draco damage, he'll go down to the Fire Punch. He doesn't really have a switch in for this. Like, Lucario is not a switch in. It's a, it's a late game sweeper, mid game cleaner, early game breaker. I just gave it like three names, but they're not switch ins. They're just uh, strong Pokemon. So, gonna pause it until he picks a move over here. Okay, so he ended up sacking that Hydreigon. And instead of pausing it, I actually. Uh, I actually, what was it called? I stopped the recording, but it, it should still be there when we come back. So, uh, do not want to take a hit from this thing. I'm going to go on to my Jirachi, as I'm expecting the uh, Draco, as he ends up hitting me with a Dragon Pulse, and revealing that he is Life Orb, so this is a threat. Um, I'm not too, too worried about Absol, because I do a Vacuum Wave on my Infernape, so that'll be uh, one of the checks right there. And this is an annoying Pokemon, this is definitely an annoying Pokemon. See, I want a Hydreigon for Haxorus, but... I'm, I'm hoping that the combination of Ice Shard and Vacuum Wave will be able to knock it out. Positively will though. So I'm going to go back out into my Hydreigon just to Life Orb stall it a bit. I uh, I really am just sacking this thing now. I know I switched out, but I thought he was Choice Locked, but it appears this man has a Life Orb. Uh, so just going to hit him with a Dragon Pulse. Maybe he forgot that he knocked off my Choice Scarf right here so I can get a surprise kill. No? Okay. <laughs> but uh, he didn't switch out before versus my Abomas Note, so I'm not sure if he'll switch out now. Even if he does go out to Lucario, I do have Needle Queen, so... He ended up staying in. Yeah, I don't know how experienced my opponent is. No offense to him at all. I hope none is taken, since no offense doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really like mean it's not offensive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do have Needle Queen, which I can just go out to right now, as he's gonna Mega Evolve and uh, go for the Sucker Punch actually, which is great because now even if he does go for Knockoff, gets rid of my Life Orb after the Hail Damage, he'll go down to Sludge Wave 100%. So I think this worked out better for me. Than uh, it could have. So, yeah, Sludge Wave. Oh, he actually ends up surviving. My mistake, guys. My mistake. I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam, as I Hell should be able to get rid of him now. And I believe Jirachi is my safest play at the moment. As he ends up going out to Lucario, completely fine. I'm just gonna go for Substitute because I don't want to take close combat. As he ends up going for SD. Which again is uh, a fine because um, he didn't, he's not going to be able to damage me. He can go for extreme speed or crunch or whatever to break my sub. Fire punch is a 2 at KO. I get up. Oh, that's. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
Uh, I get off damage with Iron Head on Haxorus, which is all I need for Ice Shard to be able to knock it out. So, a bit unfortunate I got a burn. I don't think it mattered at all, especially because he didn't go for extreme speed right here. Which is, I guess, the better play because, you know, you don't want me to end up with a free sub. And the Haxorus, I should be able to knock it out with um, Ice Shard after this Iron Head damage. And if Ice Shard doesn't knock it out, I always have Vacuum Wave in the back. So, unless this is like DD, Resto, Chesto type of crap, <laughs> I don't see him winning. So... I could be wrong. Anything's possible in Pokemon. He could have Quick Claw, and there could be some Dragon Priority move I don't know about. But in the case, just gonna pause it until he picks a move. We'll be right back. Okay, so he breaks through the uh, flinch, which is you know to be expected. It's it's a chance after it's only six percent. But either way, he's in range of uh, Ice Shard. So Ice Shard. Mm -mm. Ooh, eat it up. Good thing I have the Vacuum Wave in the back. Yeah, Haxorus is actually pretty bulky. I don't care what anybody says. This thing is pretty bulky. Let me just slowly creep to Vacuum Wave because I've misclicked in times like this and actually lost games. <laughs> I'm so serious. It's the worst. But uh, yeah, good game, dude. We are now 1680. And let us look for another battle and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have found a battle versus the Queen of Hacks who has a nasty stall team. And my, <laughs> my initial reaction before I came back was, what is this? <laughs> Why are you here? But uh, yeah, Needle Queen actually breaks her team if I can get rid of stupid thingy right here. So I'm just going to lead off with Needle Queen. Hopefully she doesn't lead off with the Kirin as she ends up leading off with Tentacruel. Uh, just a free Earth Power for me as she actually ends up outspeeding me. So she's running a bit more speed than me. But that does a lot as uh, he's just going to go for Toxic Spikes right here. I'm not going to be able to spin that away. So I'm just going to go for Earth Power. She actually is going for Scald. Uh, I did say Needle Queen completely broke her team, but uh, if I weaken Tentacruel like I did, Infernape also just smacks her team. Unless this is unaware. If I have to fight a stupid unaware evil like Clefairy and I lose, I'm going to lose to that. Wait, no, I have Jirachi. I won't lose. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Sorry. But uh, yeah, I have Starmie right here, and uh, this is not good. I'm just going to go for Psy Shock. I don't care if she goes out into the thing right here, Spiritomb, as he actually ends up going into Gastrodon, so hoping he goes for Toxic or she, Dawn, don't burn me, nice, as uh, a bomb Snow is a rather safe switching, that Kyurem is a problem, <laughs> this thing is a problem, I got a Toxic, I got to get rid of a lot of stuff if I want anything to happen in this game, uh, especially, I'm probably underestimating my opponent just based on the team, but then again, the team isn't bad necessarily, so. And they're going for Wish as I can go for another Seed Bomb. Uh, this is, you know, a losing battle for me. So I'm just going to go out to Infernape on the Protect. As uh, Protect doesn't end up happening. And uh, Infernape is a really big threat. Infernape is a huge threat. I am going to go for Nasty Plot right now. I'm hoping this is Magic Guard Clef. I know for a fact Infernape is not going to knock you out. <laughs> but uh, he ends up going for the uh, Wish. And I just want to calc this real quick. I'm positive Fire Blast would actually knock it out. Don't quote me on that though. So, uh, Infernape, 252, plus 2. I know Vacuum Wave isn't, even though it's super effective. Yada, yada, yada. But, uh, Fire Blast. Good thing she didn't put the timer on. Fire Blast is 60 to 671. Uh, Vacuum Wave is obviously weaker. Yeah. But let's calc um, Mega Bomb Snow. What is this? Hello? Adamant. 252. Seed Bomb! <laughs> Anybody goes that reference? They're amazing. Okay, this is not going to knock it out. That sucks. But it's going to do a lot. Oh, it actually. Oh, I get a burn too. Sick. That means foul play is going to do even less. <laughs> Sorry about that. As, um. <laughs> nice chimp pack references going on back there. But just gonna go for uh, a grass knot right here. I kind of expect him to switch into Tentacruel. It actually ends up going for the uh, protect. Completely fine. I do have um, I do a vacuum wave, so I'm not necessarily scared of this thing. I'm expecting a Tentacruel sack right here. To be completely honest, I could just go for Fire Blast again. What do I lose from that? Zero. <laughs> ends up going out to Kyurem though, and I miss. Um, if this is Scarf Kyurem, that sucks. Let me calc. <laughs> vacuum wave. I'm positive Kyurem's gonna live. 
N looking at the nature of this team, okay? This looks like sub roost. Uh, it definitely looks like sub roost. But vacuum wave, vacuum wave, Kiram. Sub roost. Uh, zero HP. I have to go fire blast anyway. Okay. All right. So um, ended up scouting for the fire move. I guess spirit team is gone. The only thing with priority on his team. <laughs> nice. Clef, will you actually be able to beat me? Yes, you will. Hit me with a Thunder Wave. Ooh, knock me in a blaze. <laughs> well, you're dead. And I have three hits left. Will one of them actually land? That's one. <laughs> All right, so it's looking like it's going to be a snack wrap with uh, Jirachi in any case. Just because... Uh... What is this? Die. You have zero that wants to come in. I don't have a fire blast. I'm a man. <laughs> I have, I had no reason not to go for fire blast just because I'm in blaze. I'm at plus two. I will literally oko everything. I'm gonna go for fire blast versus gastrodon, even though plus two grass knot will knock out umbreon with burn and it will knock out tentacruel. Cause oh I can't. <laughs> Damn. I just talked for no reason. Well whatever. Uh, team gone. Team Annihilated, Team Destroyed, and um, Obama still just wins right now, so. <laughs> Yo, Infinite is such a problem, man. Nah, Infinite is just a strong mod. If it wasn't so frail, I wish it could have five mo I wish it had like an automatic slack off where I don't have to click it, but it just happens turn per turn. And Blaze. I wanna, I wanna sleep fire. Does that make sense? A nice snap, but it sets me on fire? No? Okay. I'm just talking now? Yeah, I'm just talking. So uh, last Pokemon is Gastrodon, and uh, just gonna, you know, that burn definitely helped versus um Umbreon, made it easier. Interesting hail team, I kind of want to see what Clefairy would do, <laughs> but it just died. And uh, yeah, gonna pause it until she sends out her last, and we'll be right back. Even though technically, I'm just gonna knock out Gastrodon, so I could just pause it until we get a new battle. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I will. We'll be right back. Okay, so she ended up, like timing out whatever we found uh, another battle right now versus um the dogs the triple dog court mian Xiao, and uh fat mon and a defogger so i'm just gonna lay off a needle queen expecting the uh mian Xiao. i am 100 percent wrong <laughs> as uh, she ends up leading off with sweet coon hopefully this thing doesn't have hp fire and she doesn't burn me with the uh with the scald as uh, obama snow actually puts in a lot of work on her team not even gonna lie. That crest is a bit annoying. Um, ooh, did she just make a play? Yo, I like you, but I would've went for Skull because you could've burnt. <laughs> that works. Uh, I have defensive storm. That was a pretty... Yo, I can, I can respect that. I can respect that. You are, uh, I assume AV, I guess? Because that did zero. That did less than zero, actually, to my, uh... To my Starmie? I'm gonna pause it real quick. Hold up, one sec. Okay, so I get off that recover as uh, this person goes out into Suicune. Once again, Obama Snow is my safest play by far as uh, this person ends up going for Calm Mind. Now, I don't know if they have HP Fire, but at plus one, it won't be able to knock out my Obama Snow. Might just be going for HP Fire just so this person. I, I don't wanna say she and have it not be a she. I just saying she because of this, honestly. But your team looks like a. Eh, I don't even know what this is. Whatever. To be honest, um, yeah, Mega Evolving going right for Seed Bomb is my best play by far. It two of KO's uh, defensive Coon, and uh, she actually ends up going for the Hydro Pump, and it's a Life Orb, so I'm pretty sure this will be able to knock it out with the Hail Damage. So, one of the biggest threats to my team, in my opinion, gone, as uh, Entei ends up coming out. I really don't know what type of Entei this is. I'm thinking Assault Vest or something, but I'm just going to switch out to Starmie once again. Safest play as uh, ends up going for the Sacred Fire once again. And it's not Scarf Entei because Hail hits me first, so that's confirmed. It probably is Assault Vest, which means I'm going to need a bit more damage on this thing before I actually um, can, you know, dent it with Scald. Either way, Entei is hella bulky, so it would have lived Scald anyway. So, yeah, once again, just going to try and stall out these Sacred Fires because that's one of the major hits that I have to be switching into. So, I definitely want to just stall them out. Um, Hail is going to end in the following turn, if I remember correctly, but, yeah, 1-4 hurt. 
see I hate this thing but yeah either way I'm able to um, get back up to about the exact same amount I was at and I'm just gonna go right back out into Obama snow don't want to go out to Needle Queen directly on this thing because I want to ensure that I get up rocks and I don't want them going for like specs HP ice or something and Obama snow is like hella bulky anyway and being able to get off like a last ditch effort um, ice shard would be nice so goes for the extra sensory as uh, that looks like specs damage and I do have Hydreigon which can just come in so I'm just gonna I'm definitely gonna do that as I uh, essentially I could just drop a Draco but I'm just gonna go for U-turn right here uh, because I want to get up rocks before I start dropping Dracos this thing actually like smacks your team ooh counters we're sending them out now I'm glad Rocky ooh ew alright so um, I do not want to get T-waved by this thing Stupid Crobat's annoying as hell. I really don't want to get T-Wave, so I'm going for sub. As uh, I'm expecting Crest to T-Wave or something, or switch out into Entei or something. Even Crobat would be a fine switch, in my opinion. Just because of Infiltrator, or even Inner Focus. Don't, I don't really know what this uh, person's running. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm expecting T-Wave. Ooh, Calm Mind. Calm Mind Rocky Helmet, though, so I'm not expecting Rest Talk. Really am not. I actually do not know how you're going to touch me. Uh, maybe Moonblast? Okay, so I'm kind of a bit worried that this person will actually be Rest Talk with Rocky Helmet, so I'm clicking Iron Head now. Uh, if it is Rest Talk, that's scary. But no, we see Psychic. Uh, even though I am taking Rocky Helmet damage, I'd rather take Rocky Helmet damage than get swept, so yeah, definitely um, the play. And if they do break through and reveal like Moonlight, I'm fine. But they do not break through. As uh, I see no nothing with Healing Wish on the team, so yeah, again, I'm just able to knock out the Cresselia. A huge, annoying Pokemon. Not even a... It's just an annoyance. As uh, Mian Xiao ends up coming out. I believe I can just go right for the uh, Iron Head as actually misplay, in my opinion, going for Fake Out. Because now I can 2 it KO it with the, um, with the Iron Head. I could go for Sub, I guess, predicting Entei, but there's... Yeah, I'll go for Sub. <laughs> predicting the U-turn. Uh, sorry. Not Entei, but the U-turn out into Entei, I guess. Though Raikou, I think, is better because you can Volt Switch. Yeah, Raikou ends up coming out, and uh, I really just want to go directly into Needle Queen because I am behind a sub, but eh. It, it doesn't matter. I get off a of Toxic on something, and if it's Entei, that's great because it, if it lands, it's great. Yeah, because uh, it helps me out a ton with uh, Starmie stalling it out because I do not want to, I'm a defensive Starmie. I don't have, I have like four special attack investments, so. Uh, Raiko, ooh, plays, kill him, got him, big boy. <laughs> uh, again, I think my safest bet is a ball of snow. Because I don't want to risk anything, but ends up going for the shadow ball. Um, I am actually just going to get up rocks right here before I do anything else. Spec shadow ball won't hurt me. I have Hydreigon in the back. I just spams Draco and actually ends up going out into Crobat, so that's even better for me because now I just go for Ice Beam for free. Uh, Stealth Rockers will be up if you choose to go for U-Turn, so nothing is going to really appreciate this. And Entei is going to have the hail damage, the poison, the rocks, etc. Goes for Hypnosis, misses. I'm sorry, you're not my Yamega. <laughs> now that's unfortunate, but now Rocks are here to stay, and I really... I'm not sure if I can lose this game. I'm not sure. Uh, Jirachi, most expendable member, doesn't beat Entei. Slower than Raiko, slower than the uh, Mian Xiao, so I, I risked nothing by going out to Jirachi. As uh, he ended up going for HP Ice, it was my safest play possible. Hale's gonna end this turn, but not before, you know, Entei takes rocks and toxic damage. And uh, I think I can just afford to go for sub. Because one more, after I go for sub and the next Iron Head, he'll go down to poison, so yeah. Uh, I don't think he's choice. I really don't think he's choice banned. He's definitely not choice banned. So, gonna go for Iron Head. I don't really care if I flinch. Oh, I actually get a crit. So, Entei goes down. Don't even have to play around with flinches. As uh, he can now go out into uh, Raiko, I guess. And uh, knock me out with probably Shadow Ball. But Entei going for Volt Switch does not matter in the slightest. As uh, I just go right out to Starmie and I just click Psy Shot and win the game. And I have Scarf, Hydreigon in the back, and Needle Queen at almost full. As well as Priority in Infernape, Ape. So, I don't see. Uh, Unless somehow we swap teams, I don't think I can lose. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's basically over. And plus, it's a speed tie with Raikou, so it doesn't matter. And he has to go for Shadow Ball. So we are now 1693. 
Look for another battle, and we'll be back till we get one. Well, we'll be right back. Oh, we got one. Never mind. This is a really old team that uh, my boy Cam made. Really, really old team. Not a bad team at all, though. Uh, gonna lead off with my Abomas Snow, as I can beat the uh, Frostlass with Earthquake plus Ice Shard. So that's my game plan right there. Uh, Mega Evolve and... Um, well, Sea Bomb is smarter than Earthquake. IMO, IMO. Yeah, right. they'll do more in what taunt? Okay. That did nothing. That did zero. That did zero. Alright, I'll just hit with Earthquake before you spike up. As, uh, well, not before, obviously, after. And Frostless goes down, so don't have to deal with stupid, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? It's, uh, Destiny Bond. Biggest threat? Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm positive this is Scarf Hydreigon. Uh, SD Lucario is probably the biggest threat, but I do have checks to it, so. Not too, too, too scared. Aerodactyl is annoying, to say the least. Um, Needle Queen could take a hit from full, maybe. Uh, Aqua Tail will actually do a lot. Goes out to Swampert. <laughs> I can respect that play. Because my seed bomb was disabled, but I'm positive I can just go for earthquake right here anyway. Uh, I think disable is going to end this turn. Is that how it works? Uh, yeah. Nope. Taunt. Nope. That was taunt. Okay. But weakening this thing anyway is uh, just great. Why you know seed bomb? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to switch out. Ends up forcing me onto my um, Infernape, which is actually not bad because uh, he doesn't know I have Grass Knot or not. <laughs> Ends up going out into Aerodactyl to tank. What a tank. What a play. Um, what does this do? Infernape beats you. So I need Infernape. That's annoying. It's actually really annoying. I'm going to switch out into my Abomas now. Yeah, I can threaten this thing with the uh, Ice Shard if he doesn't go for Stone Edge or something. Ends up going for Taunt once again. What's... Why? What are you taunting? What am I doing? What is Infernape doing? I guess he predicted a... Taunt doesn't stop Rabbit Spin. Wait, what are you doing, bro? Um, as Lucario ends up coming out... I mean, Sableye. Sorry, I was just talking about the correct play. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like to have fun sometimes. Um, Sableye ends up coming out. A good play would probably be going for Knock Off. I'm expecting Recover, though, or Will-O-Wisp. I guess recover is not bad either, as uh, Will O Wisp ends up coming my way, and uh, I am now in Blaze, so something dies. Like something dies. He has zero to switch in. You can okay. I hit, and it's gone. <laughs> Which means I get a free spin versus um, versus Swampert, and versus uh, I guess Hydreigon. No, why would I get a spin versus Hydreigon? This thing's scarf. Yeah, basically versus Swampert. Um, I would ends up going out to Hydreigon. That is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him with a vacuum wave. Okay, I don't think I need this Pokemon. To be honest, Mega Balance though just puts in work on his team. Vacuum wave is gonna do about 60 something percent to Scarf Hydreigon. Well, it do a lot anyway. And uh, I'm not sure what move he wants to lock himself into. Of course, we'll see. And uh, yeah, I think my Scarf Hydreigon plus my Jirachi are gonna clean up this game. So that's how I'm gonna win this game. So I'm gonna not pause it. I did less than I thought. As he ends up going for Dark Pulse. And, uh, yeah, I go out into my Hydreigon and I get off a of Rabbit Spin. So, going into Hydreigon, um, if he stays in, it's completely fine. He actually ends up winning the Speed Tie, which is probably even better for me. As, uh, hmm. I'm going to go on to my Starmie. I know he's Scarf, so I'm using... I don't want Needle Queen to take any damage, because Needle Queen's going to be able to beat this and this. So, I'm going out into my Hydreigon once again. Uh, Dark Pulse is um, is not a 2 KO, even with Rocks. And it's a Speed Tie once again, so I could potentially win it and actually get off a Rapid Spin. So, that's going to be my plan. Uh, right there. Hello? Friend? He ends up going to Swampert, which is even better for me because now I 100% get off the Rapid Spin. And uh, hopefully, if he goes for Roar, he forces me out into uh, into Abomasnow. 
Um, I live the earthquake 100%. So, yeah, going right for the rapid spin right here. And um, Ice Shard will be able to pick off this Pokemon. I'm actually not sure if it'll pick off uh, Mega Arrow because it's actually a lot bulkier than Aerodactyl. But yeah, gonna pause it or not because uh, ends up going out into Hydreigon. Completely fine by me as. Yeah, I can just sack this. I can sack this, but I ended up just clicking recover because if he made a bad play, um, I would he would be punished for it, not me. So I'm in basically the clear as he just ends up going right back out. And I just ended up with more HP versus Swampert. So I will be able to get off a of Scald right here. Has that chance to burn. Uh, he can't really switch out versus this thing. I do actually get the burn as he ends up going for the exact same thing. And uh, because of that burn, he's actually going to be knocked out by the next Scald. He has zero switch-ins for this Pokemon, so... Yeah, I can definitely just go for Scald again, and no rocks are going to be on the field. Um, ends up going out to his Hydreigon once again, and he's just going to go for the Dark Pulse, but I don't really mind that too much. So I'm going to go out to my uh, Snow, and um, I'm fine with clicking Earthquake because Dark Pulse won't be able to knock me out. So, oh, yeah, I went for Earthquake predicting the, uh, the what's it called, the Lucario, but I guess he wanted to sack this thing, or maybe he's using it to switch. The servers are starting. Am I gonna have to wait to get to s s what I want? That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Shard as I'm able to knock him out and um, Lucario ends up coming out. I think uh, Needle Queen is fine. As he ends up being special, so that's even better. I'm just gonna get up my rocks because he won't be able to touch me. And I want to be able to get rid of that Hydreigon. I guess I could also just go for like Ice Beam or something. Just to put him in range of uh, Jirachi. But that ah, doesn't even matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm going for Rocks. That way his Hydreigon has zero switches. I just can knock, knock it out. Kind of sucks the, uh, the servers were starting though. And I believe I can just sack this Pokemon. Yeah, Bomb of Snow is basically the sack to make. Um, like I said, Dark Pulse won't be able to knock me out. And a Bomb of Snow going for Ice Shard is my best possible play. And yeah, that is nothing. That is zero. And I can just knock him out Ice Shard. And I can Earthquake the Lucario. So hopefully, I really doubt it, but hopefully I get enough points to be top 10 before the server restarts. Because then I'll have to wait for the server to restart. It's already 4 o'clock in the morning. And I have to wait for the server to restart. Ugh. I'm gonna pause until he picks a move over here back. I mean, he's gonna sack this. He has to, but yeah. Okay, never mind. But uh, Lucario ends up coming out, and uh, I don't know if he, he's gonna try and go for Nasty Plot. It doesn't matter. I can just go for Earthquake. Um, as he, he can knock me out with the Aura Sphere or Backing Wave, whatever. And uh, yeah, Needle Queen just finishes off the game. Even if he crits me, uh, I have Jirachi in the back, or uh, or not. But I do have Jirachi in the back. I'm actually going to go for sub because I don't want some sort of low roll, like super low roll and like, I don't know, some malfunction and him critting me. But uh, I should be able to go for fire punch right now and just knock him out. So yeah, good game, dude. That's, that's a good game in my opinion. Yes. And uh, where are we on the points? 17. <gasps> uh-oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Let me tell this dude. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh-oh. I think we're top 10. Are we? Are we indeed top 10 right before the server restarts? Will the ladder actually show? Yes, we are number 9. Great. All right, guys. So uh, I just hit top 10 in UU. That took forever. I know that took forever. That I started this like in June or July, and we are in September. Uh, you know, mostly because I just fell off of UU, basically, and I got tired of it. And I was playing it in UU Grand Slam, and I was like, ah. But finally, what? No. I don't need the new Adobe. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed the road to top 10. And we'll see you guys when I finish up Little Cup. So, or, you know, keep going with Little Cup. So, yeah, later. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye.